I'm most sensitive to floral scents. Um, it's very delicate, but it can be very strong. Um, I think, I think looking back to my, in my memory, I, I feel like flowers bring me back to a place of, in childhood that it, um, that is so intense. And uh, it's always, it's always a positive feeling. It's always a positive memory. My, my, my sense of smell is so strong that I, I mean, I'm, I'm sensitive to everything, but mo most, most sensitive to, to a rose or hibiscus or gardenia or jasmine. It's just, uh, I can't get enough of, of, the, of, these, of these flowers. Fragrance appeals to me when it's, there's something kind of mysterious about it. Um, because you don't know if you really love a perfume until you wear it, until it's, it's, you have time with it. Because a good perfume, in my opinion, is something that changes with, I mean, it's very specific to each person, of course, because of pheromones, but um, something obviously that can be light, but also deep, like very intense. Like it's something that has layers to it. I think every good perfume has, is layered and what really appeals to me is, is something like a rose because it's really elegant and also I think perfume, women wear perfume in order to feel different to, or, or to lighten their mood or, or to just feel more confident and more feminine. Um, I certainly am more uh, attracted to those floral scents because I, I, I feel like I need help feeling feminine. I mean, I, it just adds so much to um, to your your aura, and um, I think it, it's just the mystery of a fragrance appeals to me, and, and, and the and the subtlety of it appeals to me, and I, I think that um, because I'm so attracted to to flowers, it, it because of sorry because of my relationship to flowers and to, to you know, how they make me feel, I'm, I'm, I'm more attracted to them in a, in a bottle. My view of fragrance has changed big time since I became the spokesperson for Very Irresistible because, you know, I, it's, it's very complex to make a fragrance, first of all. You know, I never really thought about the bottle before and that, bottle, it's so specific to, to what's, I mean, it's supposed to reflect, reflect what's actually inside of it, and it's supposed to attract you, and it's supposed to be, and it's, it's, a, it's an artistic expression of what's in the bottle, and I never really thought about that before. It re it, it's, it's really important what the bottle looks like, um, and I think, I think all the layers, like I said, like there's so much, I mean, there's so many layers in Very Irresistible. That it's, it, I, I did never thought about you know what goes into creating a perfume before. I know it's hard. Um, I know it takes a long time, and and the effect it has on human beings is is so. It's it's profound, and it's it's not just something that you you can take lightly. It's it can change you. So you know. Which scents? Make which scents? Um, which scents? The scents that make me feel good are. There are scents like like woodsy scents that make me feel really good, but I don't necessarily like. There there are candles that I light, um, and they can range from all sorts of smells. But for me, the way I want to smell, especially to someone I'm with, is I, I want to smell like a, a woman. So it's important that I, I'm, I'm wearing something floral. I have flowers make me feel good because I grew up with a beautiful garden um, in, my, in my backyard. And my mother loves flowers and she wore floral scents growing up. She loves gardenias and jasmine. And she still grows jasmine. She actually um, cuts jasmine from my plant in Los Angeles and flies home with it every year when it blooms and then it grows in her little 
like greenhouse, which is my sister's old bedroom. Um, it just reminds me of growing up. I mean, I think if we're lucky, we have really good memories of childhood. And um, that's it. I mean, the only thing with roses is that my mom was allergic to them, and I was always obsessed with them, so I could never bring them in my house. But now uh, I can't get enough of it. So it's a really good relationship that I have going on with Very Irresistible, this new fragrance, especially. Strong emotional memories I have of fragrance. I have to say, I mean, my grandmother always wore really strong perfume. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. I actually should ask her now that I'm in Paris. It's Christmas time, so um, I think it's mostly my grandmother, and I, it's still, it's weird every time I see her, I'm, I'm a child again. Every, it's the same thing with my mother. Every time I see her and I hug her and I smell her, I'm a child again because that they are cons they consistently smell the same, and it's such a wonderful gift to give your child or your grandchild um, the gift of consistency. Um, I don't know other strong smells. I mean, it's all floral. That's the thing. I, I think I think you can ask anybody, and they'll. they'll say the same thing. We've had flowers growing around us all of our lives and we're lucky enough, if we're lucky enough to, you know, to have that affect us in such a way. Um, I mean, I, yeah, I wonder what it is. I have to actually, I have to ask my grandmother what it is that she smells like, but it's just, an, it's just insane. And there's nothing like a farm rose to take you back to like just the mountains and the meadows and, and I'm a mountain girl, so I'm a nature girl, so I feel very close to that. Just It just grounds you. I identify with the very irresistible fragrance in, in that I, I feel like we have the same You know, I feel like I'm inspired by the fragrance because it's it's mysterious. It's got a different facets. Um, there's a lot going on in a small space, and it's it's just really dynamic. I feel like I'm. I'd like to think of myself as dynamic. I'd like to think of myself as con consistently growing and. Maybe I'm just like projecting what I, what I want to be onto what this fragrance is to me, but I, I don't know. I, I think it's a, it's a good relationship to have because I, you know, I'm, I like to be spontaneous and this fragrance is very spontaneous. And like I said, it's layered and I'd like to think of myself as layered, but at the same time, it's, there's something there's something very simple at the bottom of it. Underneath it all, underneath all the complexity of it being perfume, I think, you know, you know what you're gonna get. Um, I guess in a way, even though it's so mysterious, I know I'm gonna feel confident. I know I'm gonna feel elegant. And, and I feel like I don't put on any, I don't put on any faces for anybody. I mean, I think they know what they're gonna get with me. And, and I kind of pride myself on that because it makes things easier for everybody else. Oh yeah, I associate Givenchy with Audrey Hepburn and Hubert de Givenchy. He, I think he really had a big hand in cultivating her aesthetic. Um, she's a classic beauty. She came from Givenchy. I mean, he's, I associate the brand with, with, with this, unbelievable, like profound elegance, these beautiful gowns, um, this, just this class that you, you don't see anymore. It's so classic and, 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 and I appreciate the brand because of, of its values and its history. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Um, it's also very, tends to be beyond its, its era. It's, it's, it's cutting edge, it's, it's modern, but but there's always this edge of elegance to it. It always, 
There's something familiar about it. I don't think anybody's quite been able to do that except for Ricardo Tisci. I'm, I admire him greatly. He's unbelievably talented and uh, he's a really good guy. Um, and I feel honored to be able to go on this adventure with him now. I'm not gonna say it's parallel to like Hubert and Audrey, but um, it certainly feels like I'm I'm lucky to, to, to be on this journey with him. Uh, he's creating unbelievable um, fashion and I, I'm learning a lot. What is your vision of the Givenchy woman? My vision of a Givenchy woman is someone who is elegant, classy, but someone with character and someone who can be true to herself. I mean, there are a lot of, <laughs> I mean, I, I, there, there are a lot of words I can use to describe a Givenchy woman. I, I aspire to be a Givenchy woman. Um, I can definitely put on the clothes and wear the fragrance, but you, you need to trust yourself. You need to want to know who you are. And you need to be bold. You need to be brave. I think a Givenchy woman is very brave and fashion forward and someone who doesn't sit into any any template, which is hard, but I think if you're brave enough, you don't, you know, that's never going to be a risk, so, yeah. <laughs> what I like most about being a Givenchy face, I, what I love most about being a Givenchy face is I'm able to feel like a Givenchy woman. I think I'm, I feel like I'm learning a lot. I feel like I have this amazing amount of confidence since I started working with the brand because of what it, what it represents, what the brand represents, what the fragrance represents. You know, when you're in collaboration with such a strong brand, with such strong values, you, you, you take them on. And um, I don't know, I, to, be, to be associated with such a brand is, is such a, I'm um, so lucky for them to see me as the, you know, the ideal face of their brand is, I don't know, it's a two-way street, I guess, but I really, um, it's, it's, you know, it's teaching me a lot about, about myself and, I mean, of course, about fashion, which, which is entirely just the most in interesting, uh, one of the most interesting facets of this job. But, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm definitely, uh, I feel really grateful for, for this opportunity. And I'm crazy about this brand. It's all, it's, it's, it's a good, honest relationship. Uh, you don't find that very often. I feel like Cedric Lapiche is, um, he's got a very soft hand. Um, he, he's very focused, he knows what he wants, he's, but, but he's very delicate with his, with his actors and with the, the whole situation, the whole stage. And, and it's, I think it's, I think it's just a French man. Um, maybe, maybe I just don't know enough French men, smart French men, but um, Cedric is, uh, He's really sensitive to what's going on and to what I'm giving him, and he uses that. And um, and I think that that's what I love. And the, my favorite directors are always directors that are just completely, just really um, can absorb me and and can also be just completely open and free and and I can actually like take on what he's giving. I mean, we're very sensitive to each other and I guess that's, you just need to be open as a director and as an actor and that's the best kind of relationship. That's, that's, you know, that's the strongest it can be between two, an actor and a director. So I, I don't know, I, I think he's, he's got a lot of elegance and class and I think he was perfect to, in, in making that commercial that we, we made he took this, you know, just, he, there's just a, we had a little bit of time to tell a story, and he, and he did it. He's really good at that. Um, uh, the, funniest, the funniest moment in shooting with Cedric was um, when our, our ballerina 
um, when he was running after me at the end, he, the, one of the options was he was supposed to fall as he's trying to grab me. And it was so funny the way he did it. He's just so, he's a dancer, so he's just, it was, I don't know why that's so funny watching someone fall on their face, but it was hilarious. Um, I think the highlight of, of shooting a commercial with Cedric, ah, oh man, it was so fun. You know, it, kind of recapturing Cafe Floor, it's, it's a historical, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a landmark in Paris and, and we, we built it, we made it come alive in this soundstage, which is, blew my mind. And I think that it's, in itself was, was really exciting. Um, you know, there's all these little tricks and it was a little tedious at times, but um, overall the experience, I don't know, highlights, I, I have to say just, the bit at the end is so funny. Um, that uh, just got such a kick out of it. I wish I could do it again. Irresistible Woman is so many things. Um, an irresistible woman knows who she is and knows what she wants, first and foremost. Um, irresistible Woman is elegant and aware and fearless. I think um, I aspire to be, to be an irresistible woman um, because of that, because I, I think every woman should aspire to that. But then again, being irresistible is that that's maybe dangerous for other people. Everybody wants to know you. I don't think it's that hard. I think I think you just need to, to love yourself. I mean, inner beauty radiates from inside when, when you when you know who you are. And when you take care of yourself. And you know the difference between, you know, being self-centered and loving yourself. A beauty icon? <laughs> I, you know, I would have to say my beauty icon is Julianne Moore. I think she's stunning, aesthetically very, she's very beautiful, but she's also a really beautiful person. Um, she has amazing values, great character. She, she's able to separate her family life and her career so beautifully. And, you know, what her family is most important to her, and I think, when you value your family over anything else, I mean, you're just, you're always gonna go in the right direction. And she's done a lot of things. She's, she's a humanitarian and she, you know, she's a writer and she's the most talented actress and she's brave, she's fearless. She, she, she'll do anything, you know, that she feels is right, is, that she's, she's drawn to. And I think that's so, it's so wonderful to watch. Um, she's also got the most beautiful red hair and like the most the, the beautiful translucent skin not bad looking <laughs> my secrets are staying beautiful well that's uh um it's kind i i i stay out of the sun and if i'm if i'm in the sun i'm wearing spf on my face so i protect my skin as much as i can Learned that a long time ago from some of the the greats. Um, I, I also I exercise every every day. I gotta get the endorphins going. It's important for not only for my physical self but for my mental self, my emotional self. Um, it's a good thing to do. And I, I'm healthy. I eat well for the most part. I take care of myself. I drink a lot of water, but I also enjoy myself as well. I'm not I'm not a I'm not a health Nazi, I'm, I'm, you know, it's, I mean, you, taking care of yourself doesn't have to be painful, so I have a good balance, I think. I have enough love in my life to feel, to feel beautiful.
love Ricardo Tisci. Um, I, I, he's in a class all of his own. You don't know anybody like him. It's, it's, I don't know what is happening in his brain, but he's an artist and, and I think, um, I think it's hard to, to express yourself through clothing. Um, it, it's, it's just a whole other art form. It, I, I, I can't really comprehend it. Um, not yet, but I don't need to. I, I just need to under, I just need to, to be inspired by it. And I see his, his stuff and it's just, his show for instance last year was, um, was incredible. I mean, of course he mixed a different, a bunch of mediums and, and had, um, and amazing music and, and 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 the set design was amazing but his 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 clothing is it's just bizarre in the greatest way of course he he incorporates his classic pieces but it's the way he um he takes his you know whatever he sees as emotional life and puts it into into a dress or a skirt or or I don't know, it's amazing. I, my favorite pieces from this year, I think, are, I love the sweaters, the over, like, the, 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 the extra large sweaters that the, the models were wearing with the little cinched in waist and, and the long skirts with the, he incorporated a lot of mirrors into it. Um, of course, the bags are the most beautiful bags that are being created, always, for some reason. They can never do wrong, but I, I think, yeah, I, I love the Bambi sweater. I've worn it a lot. I wore it in the ad campaign this past year. I'm never going to get sick of it. I just love to be cozy, and there's something cozy about it, but so high fashion. I don't know how, but it, it's, so, it's so great. And I know platforms aren't, aren't the Givenchy way necessarily, but they, you know, there are some platforms that I prefer to wear because they're, they're comfortable, but they're so sexy. It's, it's, my favorite, it's my favorite shoe of all time, actually. Yeah, I feel um, he has so much fun with his stuff, so much fun.